Hi, it's the Cocos, and I'm back with more Pokemon Yellow. I thought I might go out and try to grind a little bit, but then I was like, eh, I'll just try. I'll just go through and see what happens, see if we can power through it. Let's look at our Pokemon, see what we've got going for us here. Okay, everybody but Magikarp, who's not going to learn anything until about level 20 anyway, are all at least up to level 10. So that's pretty decent. I really wish I had a Meowth that knew Payday. Because a big part of my issue is that I don't have the ability to make more money. Hmm. That's really biting me in the ass. Because unlike most RPGs and Pokemon, when you defeat wild animals, they don't uh, give you money. Which never made a lick of sense, I mean, in any context, but it was a thing that um, most RPGs do, and you grow accustomed to it. So, uh, when it's not there, it is quite noticeable, and it does impact the economy. I should've just used that same thing again. Um, impacts the economy of the Pokemon world pretty heftily. But hopefully... That was weird. Y'all hear that? It was like the cry of a Pokemon. Oh my god. I don't even think I can buy repels yet. Like, I think I'm just at the mercy. Let's see what TMs I've got here in a minute. I've got a couple of them. Well, I can just electrocute these until they die, and I know that now, so that's good. I didn't get near as many potions as I had hoped. And I don't have escape ropes or money for more escape ropes, so um, we're gonna have to power through it. Let's go down this. We didn't the first time. Let's just see what's down here. A big L-shaped hallway. Move. Hmm. That's interesting. This little platform up there. Yes! A Parasect! I need that! I need a Grass-type. Or a Paris, rather. Oh, it's level 13. It's a big-ass Grass-type. Okay. Um, we are going... I don't know... if I can paralyze it or not. I'm gonna try. Because I would really like to have that. I would like to have that so bad I'm about willing to go out and switch it out. Okay, good. Um, let's quick attack it and see if we can get its HP down a little bit. Oh, shit! Shit! It's gonna attack anyway, so that's good. Let's do it one more time. And then we can probably catch this. Um, Paris, if I'm remembering correctly, will learn all kinds of shit, too. Um, that, uh, things that are, like, um, status lowering. Not just paralysis, but, um, like, sleep powder, I think it can learn. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, the next time I get to a PC, this is definitely going on my team. I love these anyway. Burrows under the ground to gnaw on tree roots. The mushrooms on its back absorb most of the nutrition. We have a nickname to Paris... No, because I'm afraid I won't be able to find it. But, uh, those are zombies, just in case anyone was wondering. Those mushrooms that grow on their back, um, eventually, there's this parasite in the real world that does this too, uh, burrows into the brainstem of the host and, uh, takes over their mind and controls it. That mushroom is doing that. That's what it's doing. Found an HP up. Alright. I saw a Team Rocket grunt up there. Whoa, I didn't see that one. I mean, I saw it when it came on the screen, but that's not the one I was talking about. We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters. I love you! I've got, like, a Team Rocket shirt, just like the one this guy's wearing. Rocket wants to fight. Rocket set out Sand True. Again, Magic Carp. If you knew any water, water moves. moves. But that, that ain't your fault, baby. We got it covered. We're gonna confuse it. 
Yeah, failed. Confusion! Be confused! Butterfree has a lot more uh, defense than I remember it having. I remember them being, like, exceptionally fragile. Good, Magic Carp to level 10. I wish it would learn Tackle so it could do literally anything. To use Ratata. Yeah, we're gonna switch back up to Magic Carp so it can get the experience. That's not a very high level Ratata, so we'll probably be alright. It's only like one level, one level more than we are. So we're gonna go with this uh, Nidoran here. See what it can do. See if maybe it'll eventually just fucking poison something. God, Nidoran has less um, defense than I recall. I better do something. I mean, that horn attack's doing a pretty good amount of uh, damage. Hmm. Thin up my paralyzed Pikachu. Um, that's just a badass. Ride it up must have used to been more badass than I am remembering. Because this thing is kicking my ass. Oh my god, it killed my Pikachu? What the shit? Oh my Jesus. Alright, um, I don't. Alright. Motherfuck. This thing is badass. Why is it so badass? It's just a normal Radida. Oh my god. That was crazy. That was insane. I'm gonna have to try to walk my ass out of here because I don't want to use that escape rope again. Oh my god. I can't believe that killed my Pikachu. I'm in shock. I I am in I'm shocked that that was a thing that happened. And now my fucking Butterfree is confused. Power through it. You can do it. I believe in you. No. Fuck. If this random rocket grunt kills me, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed off. I'm gonna wake up in that Pokemart, and I'm gonna just, like, start slitting throats. Oh my god. I better switch it out. <sighs> Alright, we'll go with too bad, I guess, because it's the one that's got the most health left. I'm gonna have to try to find a way out of this cave. I guess, um... I don't know who I'm going to replace in my team. We're just going to sit here and suck each other's blood. I did not know that was an option. I thought it would say that I couldn't use it on a Zubat. It failed. Yep. Yeah, I thought that would happen. We're going to keep trying to confuse that and then maybe we can actually get something to go down. If that Paris would learn Leech Seed, it would actually make this entire cave significantly easier. <sighs> Come on, just confuse it. Don't hurt yourself. Just confuse it. Oh my Jesus Christ! This one Rocket Grunt is just gonna de destroy me. He's gonna get a, like, promotion. Giovanni's gonna be like, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Uh, back to Butterfree. I'm, I'm gonna have a hell of a time getting out this cave. I'm so angry. <sighs> it's because it keeps confusing me and it won't let me confuse it! I'm so mad. I'm so goddamn angry right now. I'm just gonna go back and forth between this Zubat and this Butterfree until one of them manages to confuse that goddamn Zubat. And one of the things about it is that, like... Oh my god. It failed! 
Thank you! Thank you, God! Now maybe I can suck enough blood from it that I can, um, not have this goddamn sound going on! It's like playing Zelda! I'm so frustrated! What? It's confused no more? Well, you get your ass right back into confusion. How about that? Good. I'm glad it hurt itself, because it's getting on my damn nerves. <sighs> you get one HP every time from it. Bitch. Okay, well we're gonna hit the Butterfree again and maybe it'll confuse it with- or maybe it'll kill it with confusion and that would be great. And at least- oh my god! Bitch! <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Fusion, die! Die from the confusion, you're not a dark type yet. There. That- that was an experience. That was some rough shit that I just went through with that Zubat. Oh, poison powder, yes. Delete Harden, probably. Let's see what we got. Maybe it should be forgotten. Um, we'll do String Shot, actually. That's gonna be, um, super helpful for catching Pokemon. See, now I don't know if I should go get that Paris or not. My associates won't stand for this. But either way, I gotta get the hell out of this cave because I'm about to die. I gotta go back up to Pokemon Center. And I'd rather get there of my own free will than have to, uh... Have to warp out because... Um... God almighty. Because I can't afford it. Those are like $500 and I got like 50 cents in my pocket. I got less than 50 cents in my pocket because I couldn't get into the museum. I will go back and do that museum when I get some more money. Wow, I thought that was super effective for some reason. You know what? We're gonna run. We're not even gonna... We're gonna run from everything until we get the hell out of here. And the only thing we're gonna fight is things that want um, to fight so badly that they will not allow us to run. And that'll be HP away from Magic Carp and not anybody else, so... Because we're in a rough spot, like real bad. <laughs> yep, we got people dead, we got people dying. We just. we gotta get in here. Yes. Pokemon Center. Heal. Heal. If anybody knows when um, Magic Carp actually starts learning shit, that'd be useful information. Let's see what kind of uh, TMs I have. I know I have them. Build it up a TM. Bide. Teach Bide to a Pokemon. No, that wouldn't help it in every bit. What's this? Water gun. That that could be useful. Um. Yeah, we're gonna teach that to this magic cart. What? What the? That doesn't make a goddamn lick of sense. What the fuck? Explain that to me! We're gonna put those TMs in this computer because they're not doing us a bit of good. Uh, deposit. Yep. No, I don't. I, I want to keep that. Uh, deposit. This TM. Okay. Uh, and that's everything I think. So we'll go to Bill's PC and deposit. Who should we deposit? I really guess there's no reason for, to have like a Zubat and a Pidgey. Because Zubat's gonna learn Pidgey based move. Nidoran. We're gonna deposit Nidoran. And we're gonna withdraw Paris. Let's see what is going on with this. Bug and Grass. They're not gonna tell me the moves? Okay. It just knows Scratch and Stun Spore. Um, 
but only needs 500 and some to level up. Okay. Take that. Where did it put it? Oh, right where it needs to be. That's convenient. Alright, let's go heal again. Yep, heal it. I think that the hive mind did better at Pokemon than me. But that's fine. We're raring to go. And now we don't need to go down that ladder because we know it's like a waste of time. So we've gotten everything that can be gotten down there. Jesus. Now, if they would have taught this um, Magikarp water gun, which there's no reason for it not to be able to learn, that would have been ideal. But grass types are also, I'm pretty sure, uh, strong against rocks. Not as strong as I'd like. Well, that didn't do a goddamn thing. I don't think that will either. You know what? We're gonna confuse it. That's really the best way to get rid of these rocks at this point. Rude. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Anytime it's a Geodude, I'm just gonna confuse it from now on. Oh, you can be confused and paralyzed at the same time? That's interesting. I was not aware. I feel like the Alola form of the Geodude is something else. Like, it's not just a rock. It's a pretty good amount of HP from that. <sighs> Lesai. Another Zubat. Another day, another Zubat. I'm gonna go Zubat v Zubat on it like we did last time, but it don't hardly take nothing from it. What was it? Something was really good against Zubats, and I can't remember what it was. Was it also Confusion? I don't want to use all my Confusions up. We'll just do Pikachu. We'll just electrocute it out the air. <sighs> Leech Life. I really want my, um, Paris to learn Leech Seed really, really badly. I don't even know if it does, I just really want it to. <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep going, keep plodding on. Every two feet we're gonna run into a fucking Zubat. But the good thing about that is that eventually we will, um... We'll level up, because we keep running into him. Come on! This is why people so easily believe the conspiracy theories that the Zubats are released into caves and don't naturally occur there. You know, it's also weird that you fish up a lot of magic cards, but you very rarely surf into one. I think that's odd. I like that sprite, too, for the, um, the Geodude. I kind of wish I had caught that Paris at a lower level because I'm not sure what um, moves they learn. I feel like I'm doing a little better this time through the cave. God. Just died. Just, there you go. If my damn water type would learn a water move, I'd be alright. I can't believe it wouldn't learn water gun. That's really weird. Really odd. You notice that Pikachu disappears for a second before we went into that battle? Does that always happen, or was that just something that happened this time?
when I had this game, I don't know if I told you all this or not, but I had a pink Game Boy. And um, the reason was Game Boy Color. And the reason I got that was actually really um, cool. My brother, before that I had had just like a normal Game Boy. Um, <clears throat> like a normal Game Boy Color. I'm thinking it was like gray. It was the first one that they had before they started making the ones that were different colors. And my brother Jack um, went with our grandpa because he wanted this game. And Grumps was like, well, I'll get it for you. Um, because he didn't have his own Game Boy at that time. He was playing on mine. And my grandpa took him to get the... Gramps did to get the Game Boy. And the only Game Boy that they had in the store, the only of the like fancy colored Game Boys, was the... Um, it was either pink or purple, but it was some uh, color that our culture considers feminine. And he didn't want it, because he's a guy. And he didn't want, like, the feminine colored Game Boy. I'm thinking it was purple. Like, in my- no, it was pink! It was pink and it was see-through, because it was a Game Boy Advance. I was thinking Game Boy Color, but it was Game Boy Advance. And I still have that, and it's pink, and it's, um, like, the plastic on it is translucent. You can see through it. And he just gave it to me. He was like, I'll give you this new Game Boy uh, if you give me your Game Boy Color. I'll give you this new, better Game Boy. And, um, just because it was pink. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, I'm not stupid. I'll do that all day long. Why does Super Sonic fail so frequently? Oh my god. I hope it hurts itself, because when it tackles me, it does a lot of damage. No, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. I'm not going to do enough back in Leech Life to make up for that. Okay, that was insane. Um, let's try this new Paris out, see what happens with it. I'm going to confuse it and paralyze it and see how it likes that. Stun Spore! Wow, it's just gonna kill itself. I really, really want Leech Seed. I don't know how bad I want Leech Seed. That quick attack's a pain in the ass! Just go down, go down, stay down. What do we got now? We got another Rattata. God, these Rattatas. I should have kept my Rattata because I didn't realize they were such badasses. I want Magikarp. And then we're gonna go... We're gonna go back to Paris? No, we're gonna go with... Actually, that, that Paris was doing pretty good. We're gonna go back with it. It doesn't need to level up as much as everybody else, but... It needs um, to get more moves, more plant moves. Those mushrooms on its back kind of look like Dragon Balls. I think it's because they use better strategy with their Rattatas. They lower everybody's defense, and then they come in and attack. And that's what's, um, that's what's hurting me so bad, because my defense will already be real low by the time they come in. We got a Zubat on the way. Okay. Um, back to Magikarp. Hopefully this Magikarp will go up a level. Felt like I had something on my neck. We'll electrocute it. I feel like flying types are um, weak to electricity, but it's not giving me any of the... Um, like, this is super effective. Oh, yeah it is. I don't know why I said that. I'm getting tired. I love the Pikachu's little cheek, shocky things on its cheeks. They're so cute. Good, level 11. Learn something. Learn anything. The, um, losing stinks. Got 150 for winning. The Gyarados don't even learn a lot of water moves. 
I came down here to show off to girls. Are there a lot of pretty girls, like, in caves? Is that... Because, um... I've not noticed that to be the case. There's a couple. There was those, um, lasses or whatever they're called, but they're not just, like, over here in the middle of nowhere like he is. I'm wondering if I should backtrack. Because... I am having a pretty hard time. I don't know why I talked to that guy. You're just a kid. Oh, you're a jackass. Look at this fat guy. Hiker wants to fight. I like the, the hikers and the backpackers, though. This poor Zubat. Four health. Four. But I've got a couple potions, so, um... If I need them, I can break them out. But, um... I haven't needed them yet, really. I mean, nothing is, like, dead. And the one in the top spot, I can just switch out. Good. Level 11. About to use Geodude, yeah. Um... If it keeps leveling up, it'll eventually, um... It'll eventually get out of the red. This Butterfree, really, I consider uh, needing the potion more than the Zubat. Because the Butterfree's gonna be doing more fighting. In fact, I might give it one here in a second. Because if this kills it, I'm gonna be upset. Let's do... Because that confusion is really getting me through some shit. Yeah, somebody's talking to me. Confuse it, yes, and it's dead. I really do need to go back to the Pokemon Center, but I just don't see it happening. It's too far back there. If I go back, it'll probably be because I died. It's the first Onyx I've seen. Did Brock have an onyx? I can't remember. Let's see. Just more Butterfree. Just all Butterfree all the time. You wouldn't think Butterfree would be the tank. Because it's a fucking butterfly. <clears throat> but it proved me wrong. If Butterfree runs out of power points for confusion, though, we are going to have to, like, do something and go back to the Pokemon Center. Because, um, it's carrying us through these rock types. I can't believe nobody leveled up with 115 points each. Look at his beard. Look at the, um, what is that called? Not cross hatching, but those, um, skip a pixel, do a pixel on his beard. Wow, shocked again. Got 350 for winning. Kids like you shouldn't be here. Go to hell. This is the situation. Uh, how many? Three. Three potions. I mean, they're, we gotta ration them. I really need some HP regaining moves. Because Leech Seed's not working as well as I had hoped it would. I'm trying to keep my video short, so I'm only gonna be... Oh, Moonstone. That's cool. Um, I'm only gonna be playing for um, about five more minutes on this video. And I am in distress, so I'm gonna leave you all on like a cliffhanger, because I have a situation, and I don't know if it's gonna be able to be rectified. Like, I really don't want to go up against any kind of mini-bosses, like even Team Rocket like this. I really don't. I don't feel confident in myself at all. I feel like I'm having a rough time. I'm wondering if maybe it wouldn't be cheaper because the potions are three hundred dollars each, like three hundred poke dollars, to buy escape ropes instead and fight until I'm just worn out and then go back via the escape rope and just have that experience, the exp from it. Probably could be running away from more battles. I guess I just don't like to do that. I had kind of forgotten that it was an option to do that because I do it so infrequently.
come at me with that shit. Leech life bullshit. Also, like, almost always I am making food, um, either in, like, an oven or a crock pot or just, like, on the stove or something, and, um, it always smells really good. Like, it smells really good in here. It smells like cinnamon. I'm getting hungry. I'm not even hungry, really. Like, I don't need more food. It's not been that long since I've eaten, and I should cook less than I do because I'm always like, oh, it smells so good, I should just go eat some pie, and then it's like... It's not good for you to do that. You don't need to just constantly be eating. Anyone. Like, no no human being should do that. <clears throat> but I'm an American, so that's how I roll. Oh my god, these Zubats! These fucking Zubats! There's just too goddamn many of them! Like a, a crazy excess of Zubats! I don't know, man. I really don't want to go back to the Pokemon Center and do all this again. I don't want to. I wish I would level up. Ah, oh, God. I'm gonna have to give this Pikachu, John Luke Pikachu, um, a potion. Nobody's leveling up. Oh my God. We can't afford this. We can't afford to keep doing this. There's not enough money. We need a Meowth. Or, like I said, a Pokemon that can double S an escape rope, like a Diglett rope. rope. Like a Diglett. Ain't nothing up there. Oh, God, shit. Rocket Grunt. He'll give me some money, though. Little kids should leave grown ups alone. You are probably not that much older than me. None of the rocket grunts look very old. They kind of do on the Game Boy, but like in the TV show, they don't. These ridiculously badass Raditas. I'm gonna try to confuse them all and see if I can do that. I'm hoping they won't kill me. Good. Confusion. I'm glad all its moves are failing. There's no reason for that to be the case, but that's extremely convenient. I... Raditas are, like, way more badass than I remember. God, I'm running out of confusions. It's cave. That's good for Zubat. That's great. Got to use Zubat. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna go... Magikarp still level 11. Another thing is if I could get this Magikarp up um, to Gyarados level, that would be great. But it's still quite a ways away from that. I have to do some team restructuring after this. Really? With that shit? I'll just quick attack it. See what happens with that. <clears throat> then I guess I will Thundershock it. See what happens with that. I honestly would rather that than another confusion. Even though it actually takes HP away. Let's just get through this. Because it's super effective. I was kind of hoping it would par uh, paralyze it as well. Just come on. Oh my god. That shit. I'm not risking hurting myself. We already have to share experience with this Pidgey. Maybe I should switch that Pidgey out with a Spiro. I think the Spiro uh, has, like, higher attack or something. Let's try it. It's got like almost no HP left. There we go. Alright, that was an ordeal. I'm actually gonna end this video here because it's been about half an hour. 
I'm steamed. Got 390 for winning. Pokemon lived here long before people came. Thanks, Captain. Um, and we're in rough shape. This team is in rough shape. Um, I'm really hoping that we can make it through this cave without having to go all the way back to Pewter City again. We keep having to backtrack. But I am Tokoko's. This is Pokemon Yellow. My team is dying. I will see you guys next time. You have a great night. Bye-bye.